Hello everyone and welcome to another Let's Make Vocal Stuff. This one's a pretty simple lesson. Now, this is something you shouldn't do all the time, but it hasn't been done before. Today, we're doing vocal splicing, or as I like to call it, Frankensteining audio. So, this happens every so often. You'll have takes that have some really good bits and some really bad bits. And then you'll have another take that has good bits for the things that fix the bad bits of the first one. For example, oh, space bar. There. Talk is cheap. It's time to put our words into actions. Talk is cheap. It's time to put our words into actions. You might have heard it. You might have heard it. It's very subtle. This part right here. Not so good. These two on here, not so good either. This one though, that's a good one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to your most finite ones, usually in milliseconds. Take that, go over, bam, and delete. And then you got this. Talk is cheap. It's time to put our words into actions. Bam! That's how you do it. All right. It's happened so often. You'll hear in the booth um, with sound engineers being like, all right, take two and three and put them together. And that's usually what ends up happening. You do this a lot with ADR sometimes just because one take sounds really good when it meshes with another take. When you're doing audiobooks, this stuff really helps a lot, but too. But don't do this all the time. This is for like emergency scenarios where you don't have time to do another read and you're just kind of wanting to crush things together to make a good take. But that's how you do it. Well, thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye!